Like most people out there, I was extremely saddened by the death of Carrie Fisher. But most of all, when it comes to honoring her death, I'm extremely pissed off because it's about the stigma of addiction and we need to talk about it right now, so stay tuned. What's up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. I have personally been a Star Wars fan since I was a kid. I was not born yet for the original trilogy, but my grandmother introduced me to Star Wars when they re-released the original trilogy in theaters, and I've been a fan ever since. Last year, Carrie Fisher died, and with the release of The Last Jedi, everybody was wondering, like, um, you know, how are they going to um, and Princess Leia in this movie, and I won't spoil it for any of you guys who uh, haven't seen it yet. But anyways, with the release of The Last Jedi, there have just been so many articles, so many stories from um, her co-stars and other people who have known her throughout her life, and one of the issues I take when somebody dies from drug addiction is that nobody talks about it. Like, this is probably the worst way to honor their death. That's why I put air quotes in the intro to this video, because nobody is truly honoring their death by not talking about what happened. Now, I wanna make it very clear, before you all like rip me to shreds in the comments, I wanna make it very clear. Carrie Fisher was an amazing woman. She battled with drug addiction, you know, as many people in Hollywood do. She um, sobered up and so her her official cause of death, they said it had some uh, some things to do with sleep apnea as well as heart issues, but there was also a cocktail of drugs that they found in her system. And I will link to an article in the description from the LA Times. It says, Carrie Fisher's autopsy reveals cocktail of drugs including cocaine, opiates, and ecstasy, all right? So a couple things here. One of them is, there's a couple varying reports. Now, when we're talking about sleep apnea and heart disease, I am a drug addict in recovery, and one of the reasons um, I had to get sober was because at 26 years old, I had congestive heart failure. Drugs and alcohol had destroyed my body to a point where I was about to die. My heart was the size of my lung, and it is still in the process of healing. It's a lot better now since I've been sober five and a half years. Now. Other autopsy reports show a cocktail of drugs, which signifies a relapse. Carrie Fisher was an amazing woman because not only was she outwardly um, spoken about her battles with drug addiction, but she was a huge, huge, huge advocate for mental illness. And anybody out there talking about mental illness openly, like my hat is off to them. That is one of the reasons why I respect Carrie Fisher so much. But it breaks my heart that everybody's sharing all these great stories about Carrie Fisher, which I understand and, and I think that we need to you know, talk about the good times, but when it comes to the fact that tens of thousands of people each year in the United States alone are dying from addiction and we're not constantly reminding people that this woman died before her time because of a drug addiction, we are doing her memory a disservice. Like. So many people, like Carrie Fisher is an icon, right? Princess Leia, right? And when we're not teaching the new generation that the reason why Carrie Fisher died was because of drug addiction, how are we doing any service to the next generation by deterring them from potentially becoming addicted to drugs? Now, I know scare tactics don't work, but it helps put something in their mind like, wow, this took out somebody who was rich and famous and an icon. She had uh, the love and support of her friends, her family, um, her fans, right? I will link to another video I did called Rock Bottom where I talked about Carrie Fisher as well as a bunch of other famous people who have died from addiction. But this really bothers me because in the last two and a half years, for any of you wondering what drug addiction is really like, like sometimes, sometimes I get comments um, in some of my other videos, like one of my first videos where I talked about how addiction is a disease, I get comments where people are like, I lost my brother to addiction, so don't talk to me about how addiction is a disease, it's a choice. When you lose somebody, you tell me. So I wanna make it very clear, in the last two and a half years, I have had 60 people die, 60. That is six zero in two and a half years. So yes, I am on the front lines of this thing and I know how many people it kills. And something that I do, whenever somebody I know dies from addiction, I look at the obituary. I go and check the obituary. I'm like, did the family mention 
that this was from an overdose or alcohol or other drug related causes. 99.9% .9 of the time they don't. Okay, like they don't mention in the obituary, and I get it, the obituary is meant to uh, remember their good memories and uh, and uh, the family they left behind and stuff, but we need to talk about how drugs are what killed this person. We need to stop making this such a taboo subject. We need to start telling people, this is why they died. This is why your mom died. This is why your dad died. This is why um, your, your uh, pop icons are dying. This is why your teacher died. This is why that guy who used to work at the grocery store died. We need to talk about this because the more we keep this under wraps and we don't talk about it, the worse this thing gets. Imagine if every time somebody died from addiction, we actually talked about it. Imagine, imagine if this was part of normal conversation. And yeah, I'm pretty heated because one of the reasons I make this channel is to get that dialogue going. This is something that we can't just sweep under the rug. People are dying every single day in droves from addiction. Like I remember Carrie Fisher and all the amazing things she did and her role in Star Wars as well as other films and her mental health advocacy work. But I also remember that she died from drug addiction. I'm letting you all know right now, Anybody who watches this video, let me let me put this out there into the world, okay? If I relapse and I die for, from a drug addiction, I want all of you watching this to let the world know that it was because drugs killed me. I want you to say that I had some clean time, I relapsed and I died from drug addiction. Mom, dad, my little boy Dylan, if you're watching this, if I die from a drug addiction, I want it to be in my obituary, okay? That is what I want, all right? So you better honor my memory by letting the world know that drugs took me out if I relapse, all right? All right, so that's the end of this video. Hopefully you don't hate me. Hopefully I, I got through to you and I, I, I hope you understand what I'm talking about when it comes to this stigma of addiction, all right? But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, I'm always making videos mainly about mental health and addiction recovery, so hit the little round subscribe button. And, and also don't forget to click or tap on one of those thumbnails. Check out some of the other videos on here to help you out with your mental health. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.